Hey, what's up high levelers? In today's video, we're going to learn how can we set up double opt-ins in Go High Level. Now, before we get into it, I want to explain the quick difference between single opt-in and double opt-in. So in the first case where we have single opt-ins, it's very straightforward. Somebody fills out a form, you start sending them email newsletters or email campaigns right away. Now, the problem with that is sometimes people will put in a fake email address or maybe it's not a good email address and that will affect your email deliverability and ultimately that can get you in trouble, right? Now, with double opt-ins, we can actually actually filter through that and the way we do that is that you know when somebody submits a form you send out an email with a link for them to click on so you can say hey you know thank you for taking interest please click here to confirm your subscription for our newsletter and then when they click on that you actually guarantee or confirm that this is a confirmed subscriber and now they're good to receive your email so that way you have a good filtered out list of people who you can send email newsletters to or email campaigns to. So let's dive into Go High Level and see how we can set this up. So the first thing we need to get started is a form which will act as a trigger. So we need to get people's information so we can start sending them, you know, emails or campaigns. So to do that, head over to sites and then under forms, you can click on add form. Now you can actually choose a template as well. Go High Level has a good collection of different forms that you can use. So let's go with this one right here. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna click on continue here. All right, so you can see the form is already built out quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do is just rename it under options to email newsletter, all right? So with that being done, let's click on save here. Perfect. All right, now that we have the form created, I'm gonna head over to automation and then click on create workflow. Basically, we're creating this workflow so anybody who submits the form gets a tag and then we also send them an email saying, hey, thank you for taking interest in our newsletter. Here's a link you can click to uh, confirm your subscription, right? So I'm just gonna click on start from scratch here and then we can name it new email subscriber. Then under the workflow trigger, we basically have to select form submitted and under the filters, we're gonna choose form is email newsletter and then click on save trigger. Then the first thing we wanna do is add a tag here. So if you type in tag, you can click on add contact tag and then you can say subscriber, perfect. You can add the tag if that doesn't exist before, then hit on save. And then we wanna send them an email. So this will be the first email that we will send now, before I hit save, you're missing something here because we don't have a link for them to click on right now, which will confirm their subscription, right? So we're going to go ahead, build a funnel step, and then we'll use a trigger link to see how we can set that up. So I'm just going to hit on save for now. So right now I'm under sites and I'm going to click on create new funnel. And then we can say the email newsletter, right? And then hit create. Now we're going to click on add new step here. And then we can say, uh, confirm subscription page and then click on create funnel step now click on edit page so we basically want to just put in a quick note here so I'm just gonna add a headline here saying hey contact dot first name thank you for confirming your subscription perfect now if i click on preview here it will give us a link so this is the link we have to copy and then we will create a trigger link out of it so to create a trigger link you have to head over to marketing and then you will see trigger links right here so just click on links here and then click on add link confirmed subscription and then you will enter the link here and hit save so now you've got the trigger link here let's head back to our previous automation and insert this link in the email all right, so I'm back in the automation. I'm gonna head over to the email step right here. And then uh, right here you see trigger links, right? So just click on that, click on confirmed subscription. Now you can add it here, or what I would like to do is just, you know, cut it from here. And then I'm gonna hyperlink, click here, link it. And then in the URL, I'm gonna post the trigger link value right here, and then gonna hit save. So as you can see, it is hyperlinked now, which is perfect. And we're going to hit save action. And then I'm going to publish this workflow and then hit save on my way out. So I'm going to create a new workflow here and we're going to start from scratch as usual. Now I'm going to name this as confirmed subscription. And then we basically want the trigger to be trigger link clicked. So we were going to select that, click on add filters. And this is where we will choose uh, which trigger link is being clicked. So this is the one, as you can remember, we created confirmed subscription. Click on save trigger right here. 
um, then we are going to add another tag which is going to be confirmed subscription so we're going to click on add new tag then save action and then we're going to send another email which will be about the confirmation of subscription so we're going to type in location.name and then in the end you can say your business name and that's it so we're going to hit publish and hit save so now our sequence is complete just to reiterate we have somebody filling out the form getting a tag which is subscription they get an email which has a trigger link if they click on that link another workflow which is this one right here uh, starts and then it adds a tag which is confirmed subscription and then it sends them an email of confirmation for their subscription so now we have got pretty much everything that we needed now i'm going to show you one more thing that is going to help you organize your confirmed subscription people so that you can easily send them emails going forward so let's head over into context and see how we can do that all right so i'm in the context tab right now i'm going to click on more filters here and then we're going to search by tag and then we will type here tag is confirmed subscription and hit apply now this is basically going to show you all the people that have uh, confirmed subscriptions right so that you can easily choose these people whenever you're sending out your next next you know newsletter so i'm gonna save this as a smart list and say confirmed subscription right and hit save right now as you can see there's nobody here but we're going to do a quick test to see if it actually works so you can see we have confirmed subscription right here now let's run a quick test to see if the things we set up actually work all right so i've got the form right here let's go ahead and test it out so i'm just going to submit this form right now and then we should get an email so if i head back over to this and go into execution logs you will see that somebody has fill this out we have got the email sent and now let's see how this email comes up on our side so as you can see here that i've got the email it has a trigger link right here for me to click but before i do that let's head over to the context tab here and you can see there's nobody right here under confirmed subscription so as soon as i do this click on this one right here it will take me to that landing page that we created as you can see it says hey thank you for confirming your subscription we've got the message here so now if i head over back here do a quick refresh we'll see that that contact will now be under our smart list because they have confirmed their subscription and i should also get another email so you can see here that it landed in the confirmed subscription tab right here which is great and then if i head over to my email again you can see that it says subscribe successfully hey thank you for you know subscribing to our email newsletter we look forward to sharing some amazing content with you so this was a quick demo on how to set up double options and go high level i hope you like this video do try this feature out and see how it impacts your business